Well, as uh, some progress is finally being made in containing the nuclear crisis in Japan, EU energy ministers have been holding an emergency meeting today seeking agreement on stress tests for the region's nuclear plants. Well, from some insight into all of this, I'm joined now by Luis Echavarria, the Director General of the OECD's Nuclear Energy Agency. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, you know, we don't know the final outcome of what's happening in Japan, but it is going to change the way that the world feels about nuclear energy, is it not? Well, of course, there is a, an important impact in how the people is perceiving nuclear, uh, nuclear power now with the experience of this uh, accident. But we are very close to the accident itself. There are still many things which are not known. Now, um, Germany has announced the suspension of some of its older plants. Is this something you expect to see more of uh, across OECD countries? Well, I think the situation in Germany is a little bit uh, unique because uh, as a different from other countries in Europe which uh, utilize uh, nuclear power, uh, the public opinion in Germany is very uh, divided in this issue and this comes very frequently uh, in the, to the, the upper part of the of the political debate. So it is, uh, uh, there is a sensitivity which doesn't exist so much in other countries. I think this is the reason for having so quickly these very drastic uh, decisions. Mm. Now, can the public be reassured that more recently built plants, more modern plants, are safer than the ones that we saw at Fukushima? Of course, a very new plan is always uh, safer than the previous one uh, because uh, logically uh, the time uh, which passes give more and more experience and the designs are improved. But uh, for the moment uh, it is not clear that the problems that uh, Fukushima has experienced is because of the, of the age of the reactors. Mm. I think that maybe with uh, newer reactors maybe there will have been less impact. But uh, what really has caused the accident is not related to the design or to the operation of the of the station is related to a huge uh, earthquake and the subsequent uh, even uh, enormous uh, tsunami this is what it is at the origin of the of the accident now we are hearing a lot of plans for nuclear expansion in countries all over the world as, as uh, countries seek to find uh, an alternative to fossil fuels countries like vietnam and indonesia have got uh, nuclear power plans is there not a concern that accidents at power plants will be more common if there simply is a, a proliferation of power plants well, uh, of course, uh, in any activity, uh, as more uh, people, uh, you know, practice that activity, there is more risk. But uh, I have to, to tell you that uh, the new reactors, the reactors which are in the marketplace today, are going to benefit from the experience of Fukushima. And I think that if any of these countries is uh, launching a new program, that will be with plants which have really considered, uh, you know, what are the elements which have led to this accident. Uh, as uh, I have said, you know, there is a lot of experience on, on nuclear safety and the accident in Fukushima is not related to the design of the, of the units. It's more related to external events. But in those countries, yes, they have to consider whether they will have to either protect the existing locations that they were thinking on or maybe to change the locations of the stations. This mm -hmm. is one of the lessons that have been learned. Mm -hmm. And just finally, do you think we're going to see a push now towards alternate energy sources of clean energy or do you think that when the concerns die down over this immediate disaster that the proliferation of nuclear power will continue at the same pace? Well, we have to analyze in deepness the accident to see what implications has for the future of nuclear power. But in general, nuclear power is not competed with renewable energies. Renewable energies are very welcome, but they are intermittent. Really, uh, nuclear power is competing for base load electricity and the alternatives there and mainly coal and natural gas. So once, uh, you know, uh, the, the accident is analyzed in deepness, we, we will see uh, how really this 
impacts to the new designs. But I think that uh, nuclear energy is going to continue to be a very important pillar for the baseload electricity of the OECD countries and many non-OECD countries. Okay, Mr. Echevarria, thank you very much indeed for joining us.